There's bugs in the bag. There's living bugs in the bag. Ah, oh, what have we done? Welcome home, Rep Pack. Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, the show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day. And I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob, the world's biggest Nickelodeon collection. And I hope you beautiful people are having an amazing day. And if you guys aren't, you know the drill. Plus roulette time, baby. Camera flip. <laughs> It's about to get a whole lot brighter right back because your boy is here. And today is one of your guys' favorite series on this show. And like I said, that is Plush Roulette. So if you guys haven't already, you can hit the like button. I would greatly appreciate it. It helps out the channel. But if you don't know what Plush Roulette is, we're going to be going to our local thrift store where they sell these big, giant bags filled with miscellaneous plushies. They get so many plushies donated that they can't even put all of them on the shelf. But they just stuff them in bags. And sometimes those bags are filled with a lot of, well, well trash. And sometimes they're filled with not trash. Sometimes it has some pretty great items in there. In this series, we found plushies in some of these bags ranging up to $70, $80. So you really never know what you're gonna get, and they only cost $4 each. So at that price, it's a win-win. All we have to do is find one item in each bag that's worth four, or at least one item that covers all the costs, and see if we can destroy the grand total of $40, because we're gonna be picking up 10 bags, making the grand total price 40 bucks, and seeing if we get enough value in each bag, comparing them to online prices of what these plushies typically go for, to destroy that $40 value. I think our highest number so far we've ever achieved in this series is right here on screen. We've gone into the deep hundreds in these bags before, and I'm hoping today's one of them days, you know? That would be oh, nice. a good day when it happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just wanna get something cool, something cool to add to the collection. But the mystery is always the best part, so let's head into the car and go pick up our bags of plushies first off. Okay, so we're here to do plush roulette, but we did another video we just filmed a thrifting versus me versus Mitchell, you're gonna find out who won, you know? Just da, 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 da. I'm just <laughs> them ribs up a little bit with some cool finds. But I have all the plushies right here in the ride. And we're gonna go ahead and take a look here. I got a couple right now already, I have four. We might go in there and grab another three, but I grabbed the four that we saw because they were just really good ones. We didn't want to leave them behind. So let's take a look behind my tinted windows. <laughs> I didn't pay for this. This was pre-installed. It must be nice. <laughs> <laughs> this is manufactured tinting. So I grabbed this bag right here because look, you got freaking Willy Will, Willy Wonka. You got freaking- um, An Oompa Loompa. Oompa Loompa. You got a substitute Jutsu Pokemon. <laughs> we got a jelly cat in there. You know, when you look on the outside of the bag just one thing is enough for you to maybe grab it because <laughs> all the goods are usually on the inside that you can't see this one right here why did we grab it why did we grab this one huh probably another jelly oh, Willy Wonka again <laughs> oh no and then we have this freaking haunted mansion plushie right here these guys are pretty solid I think we already have sold one of these in the past for like 20 bucks he's so. missing an arm oh my gosh I didn't even notice that you're right he is missing an arm yeah that was probably a bad one we'll find out though also grab this one right here got a jelly cat in there and that was pretty much all I saw on that one, but it was just, again, you don't you don't know what you're gonna get, so when you can find anything on the outside, that's an indicator you should probably at least grab it. And then on this one here, I think it was, because, oh. oh yeah, we have freaking this guy from uh, Dogman, which we've already sold him before for more than that. Umbreon. I saw an Umbreon here. Yeah, there was a couple things in here that we were like, you know, caught our interest, so I ended up grabbing this one too, so. Oh, the Hedgehog in there too was from one of the movies. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go and grab maybe three more. We're gonna find out if you have four, so we get three more than three at the other location, but if we don't see anything, then maybe we'll just wait to the next location. But let's go take a look. You see anything that stands out for you? Rotate it again. It looks like a big note. Some random miscellaneous mermaid thing. That's, uh, that's actually just uh, Rapunzel if she was in Little Mermaid. Oh. <laughs> it's like two characters combined. We have uh, a bunch of big plushes. Big plushes. No. That's usually a no. This one right here. Come on. King Julian. Oh, we have Mort. <laughs> I kind of want to get that one just from Mort. That's actually a really <laughs> sick plush. Oh, dude. You don't see that often. Yeah. Oh, man. It, it might not be worth it for the rest of the bag. Maybe. Maybe we'll look up Mort now to see if the rest of the bag will be worth it. We'll see. It's kind of against the rules, but that one really looks like the only thing in there was Mort. This one's got a good chunk of Disney stuff in it, looks like. This is really uncomfortable. Like, why are you so long? <laughs> a hot dog. Pig from uh, Moana. Yeah. Oh, they have like Rapunzel's yeah. hair coming through here. That's why I said a couple of Disney things. I think that's still worth the, uh, like the, could go for it, honestly. It's got All a right. tag on it, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say we should grab this one. All right, so boom, we got another one right there. We have two, one, maybe three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
So the next one, they have to be pretty. Dang, freaking Mickey's gloves. Yeah, there's something else. Oh, Mickey's mouth over here that's like separate from that glove. You gotta uh, have one of these always. Yeah, of course they have to. Okay, so we got into the next store here, and we already grabbed this one because it has SpongeBob. There. The rest of it is no, but you get any SpongeBob, you grab that bag, okay? So we're grabbing that one. <laughs> that one's not bad right out the wrap. There's only four, but this one's got Bluey. Well, ain't three. Uh, Bluey, Mort, Morty. Mort, <laughs> Mort to go, Morty to go with Mort. <laughs> Maybe we'll get this one to go with them. Let's see, because these ones are pretty rough. Ooh, Honestly, we probably wow. should have got that Cincy at the other one. Do you see anything in there? Some Substantial. Nope, a lot These of these paws look Disney esque. This is like Grogu. Uh, go is that a no. pizza planet? No, it's not. That's a pizza planet. Surfer Boy. Oh, that's a uh, that oh, might be a Stranger, Stranger things. things. I thought it was a pizza planet, planet van. I was like, don't talk about the van that much. <laughs> and there's this bag. You got Baby Shark in there, nothing crazy. Yeah. Dang, these are rough, man. All right, I think we go with the two that we got and the Surfer Boy Pizza one. Let's do it. <laughs> so there we go. We got all three. All right, guys. So we're going to head out of here. We're going to go ahead and uh, check out. I think we got everything that we needed. All right, we're back. We just got the thumbnail that you saw for this video, and it's falling apart on me now. I'm glad we got the shot. So let go. We'll see what happens. Boom! <laughs> That was, <laughs> that was literally I was holding that together. All right, so let's put all the bags here to the left and let's see if we can break our price. Half of these were half off, but we're gonna still go with $40, 10 bags, $4 each, 40 bucks is the price to break. Let's see if we can do that together in this episode of Flush Roulette. So, we got our first bag here, and I'm starting off with this one, man. Makes sense. We got the sponge <laughs> in there. I gotta add this one to the collection. The rest of this bag looks quite terrible, but you never know. So let's check it out. <laughs> All right, are you ready for this? I'm ready, I'm I ready. I am not, <laughs> I am not. I, I, didn't, I didn't bring my gloves today. I misplaced my gloves. It's how ADHD works. It's something I deal with on a daily basis, and it's, it's suffering. But I couldn't find them, so I'm gonna have to go gloveless this time, and I'm gonna just have to keep from touching my face, especially my mouth. So first. First off here, it smells very good actually. That's, that's quite a, I'll, I'll take that smell versus some of the bad smells we've had. We have this. Like a leprechaun? A leprechaun with a, a gravity-defying beard. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I wake up, dude, literally. <laughs> then I gotta brush Stiff beard. <laughs> then I gotta brush it down. And we go based off the brand and also what we think, but you guys in the comments down below are gonna help us decide whether we need to grab some out of the trash later, because I'm not gonna throw any of these plushies away until this video gets posted. You know, some of you guys might know the value of some of these items even better than we do. For sure, probably some of you. <laughs> so we're gonna try our best to grab anything of value, but I'm sure we're gonna miss some stuff. He's got like a no-name brand. And I'm gonna go ahead and say no on him. All right, we have a Daisy Duck here. This looks like a very like McDonald's-esque toy, but you never know, it's branded. We'll keep it as a maybe, and we'll check it out later. We'll check out each bag once we get to the end. I'm just trying to do the SpongeBob, man. We have this pink dolphin. Wearing a hoodie. Which is from, oh, <laughs> the string fell on my hand. I thought it was like a buck. <laughs> we have the petting zone. <laughs> you heard of the twilight zone. No, I got to the petting zone. <laughs> It's kind of weird how we put dolphins and like whales as plush. Can you imagine if dolls and love instead of fur? I would hate that. Absolutely hate that. <laughs> it probably would just look kind of sleek like a seal. Oh, that's true. All right, him, what do you think? Petting zone? No. No? Okay. No. Next up, we've got a M&M that's not an M&M. <laughs> I was like, is it an M&M? It's that's... called Nuggle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's a really weird word. Oh, yeah, it is. I'm going to go ahead and put the Nuggle away. Another, oh, I hate this bear's type. You guys know how much I hate this type of bear and this fur that just takes in every microbe in somebody's house. No. Our first baby duck. Our first baby duck. <laughs> every video we find multiple several an unbelievable ungodly amount of baby ducks and this one is our first one and still a no <laughs> <laughs> as cute as you may be i'm still gonna go with no all right but here's the spongebob ah it's one of those weird inflated spongebobs again where it's like super swelled up for some reason and he's got like a tag on there. I'd say it's like maybe like a, a, a Christmas ornament, but man, he's gross. That was not worth it. You know, I just wanted to get one bob, but damn, that was not worth it. But he is SpongeBob, so we'll put him as a, as a keep, even though I know he's not worth it. Swoosh. <laughs> Go on, you got one opportunity up there. I don't even want to throw this. <laughs> I don't know what's going to fall off of it, That's but fair. whatever comes <laughs> off of it probably isn't good to breathe in. By Dan D. I've never heard somebody, oh wow, nice swoosh. It's always swish, no? It's a swish. It's just the sound it makes. Swoosh. 
Swoosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it almost hit the floor. Man, he's got a long nose. <laughs> what is that, a kiwi? <laughs> this is a kiwi bird. I'm pretty sure it's by Thai. Most Thai beanie babies are a big nose and it's got bleach stains on it. Oh, this is looking rough, guys. I'll only use one. One blush to beat that $4, though. Come on. Thai Angel Christmas bear. bear. No. There's an ostrich down there, I see. Yeah, I was avoiding him. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? A hundred. Goodwill Industries. You got the funds to be making stupid bears? Yeah. I wonder why those prices are so ridiculous. You seen like a hundred thousand dollar Lego piece? <laughs> <laughs> we have an ostrich with those little saggy legs. Man, it looks like he's ready to pounce on you. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> okay. He's just got too much long skin yeah, for me yeah. to keep him. Uh, sorry guys. Another tie. Some people are like, oh, some ties are worth money. Most of them aren't. And, you know, I'm going to go with a no on him too. This has been really bad. Come on. We got to get something good here for our first bag. Pig. No. Uh, a blue, like, leopard that's not even tie at this point. No. And I told myself I wasn't going past this point because these bears look disgusting. There's a naked poo bear in there. Where do you see a naked poo bear? That, yep. That is sad to see. Oh, and he smells so strong. Get him out of here. Don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> He's old and cold and so very filled with mold. Are we really going to base our stuff off of two McDonald's toys? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the lips on this fish. Boy, <laughs> man. Come give me a kiss. <laughs> man, he, he might swallow you with them lips. Fiesta lip fish. That's a Caitlyn Jenner challenge a little too serious. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Or Kylie Jenner. Sorry. This creepy cat girl. Wait, what's the tag? The cat is, the tag uh, is Felicia. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> By Russ. I feel like this one could be surprising, though. You it's, can check it. It's just weird enough to work. The cat and address. There's so much debris on the table just from pulling these out. It's yeah, you did that and I heard like whoosh. It's so disgusting, dude. <laughs> like sand fell out. We're doing this for the people. We're doing this to hopefully save some gems. <laughs> I'm gonna go into the rest of these. There's a fat no. It's all Christmas plushies. That was a really bad bag. Oh man, this isn't starting out good here. So that's how they get you. They entice you with one little sponge in the middle and you're like, oh, this might be an okay one. They plug in, you know, something decent. So you're like, okay, it's not too bad. It's not too bad there. And then it's like this freaking inflated garbage bob. <laughs> <laughs> I think his arms are poseable actually, but it's just, man, that quality of the stuffing they put inside these ones is just terrible. There you go. Just saddening to see. Well, this is what we got. <laughs> All right, I'm hoping on, my hope is on this cat. It's gonna have to be on that cat. <laughs> this cat is gonna save us. Somebody out here is buying for $10, Mr. Freaking too absorbent is he, for 10 bucks. <laughs> and then this one's the same one. It went for $8. So, but he looks, he looks remarkably better. <laughs> he looks like, hey man, all this guy needs a little bath, you know, cut a little couple of these strings off. He'll be looking mighty, still a little hey. less terrible. A little eight bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think we'll go ahead and give him five. Yeah, I'm going to keep him in the collection. I'm going to give him a thorough spa day in the bag, the washing machine there. But I'll add him to the collection in the, in the vault in a bag that I have of other plushies that shouldn't see the light of day. <laughs> and then this one, that's our value. That's what plush that's all about. All we need is one, one plushie. Maybe we might risk infestation of insects. <laughs> hey, maybe I might be sneezing for the next two days. Uh, you might get a Rastafarian boo-boo brand. <laughs> yeah, maybe I might touch another human's biohazard waste. But we got 15 bucks, Mitchell. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. All right, you pick the next one, Mitch. Let's do it. Let's see. Let's go with... I'm happy with that. You know, it was, it was a terrible bag, but at least we got our value. What, what more could you ask for? I could ask for a lot. <laughs> There's a lot more than that, to be honest. I'm gonna go with this one. I don't know what's in it. Why? Why go with this one with like 17 Nemos? You know, we'll now that you said that, I'm gonna go with this one. <laughs> <laughs> that one at least has variety in there. It's a lot of plushies. All right, let's get started in here. This one, I see we have a jelly cat plushie in here. The bunny jelly cats are usually like 10 bucks, but I mean, that's already a win right there. So let's go ahead and take a look here. We have a camel, which camel plushies, believe it or not, it's not like an animal they make a lot of plushies for typically. So they can randomly be kind of pricey. I'm gonna, and it has the tag still on, and although that tag is very pre-owned, we're, we're gonna go ahead and put that 
So much debris. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in our maybes. We and we get enough Aurora ones. We have made lots in the past where like with a, like eight of them, they can go for like 30 bucks. So Aurora is not a terrible brand if you can get a bunch of them. Next one here we have is a, oh, what kind of bird is this? You know. It's like an emperor penguin kind of thing or? Is it an emperor penguin? I didn't think he was oh, of no, that kind of status. A... No, 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 this is a, um... A puffin, that's it, a puffin. Man knows his Arctic birds. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we keep him around this place for that Arctic bird knowledge. <laughs> All right, we're gonna keep him as a maybe because he's a SeaWorld plush and it's a weird one. You know, they may not, you know, have a lot of that. It's not a Shamu. Exactly. Next up we have a <laughs> Wild Republic monkey. He that, is wild. This was like literally my body shape when I was like eight. Skinny bone dome. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. What do we got here? This is by Animal Adventure, which is a hit or miss. It's a bunny. I'm gonna say maybe on that one. Oh, a little tiger here. Where is this from? Oh, from Tiger Trail? Of course. <laughs> I could have known. <laughs> Realistic plushy animals can surprisingly be good too. So I'm gonna say uh, the little tiger is another maybe. There are a lot of maybes here. Nothing super fun, no characters, but you know, not bad. <laughs> Animal adventure, but it's a pink bunny. And his face is and uh... has more Look at these, like. No, don't dump them. That's literally some kind of beetle. It's alive. It's alive. There's literally insects in here, bro. I saw its antennas go in. I'm gonna put it in the bag, and we're gonna just take this bag outside. But that is a living bug. There's another one right there too. These like bed bugs. I know. I'm like kind of concerned here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my clothes off before I go in the house. You're gonna have to just live with that. But these are apparently they are black beetles. They are not invasive, or they're not like something that you have to worry about. But we are going to get them out of here. This is what I deal with in this series. We get some good stuff, but it's it's quite <laughs> I, quite dangerous. <laughs> He's trying to get back home, bro. <laughs> He's like, give me back to the bunny. I felt safe in the bunny. <laughs> All that, right. That was uh, some biohazard in there. <laughs> yeah, dude, you really have to be careful in this series. Like, you I know, gotta check them all. <laughs> I'm not trying to get bed bugs or something, you know? But of course, all the plushies on here, we washed with hot water and dry, of course, too, which kills a lot of, you know, all contaminants. But in the meantime, we're at risk. We are at risk. I think that so far we found poop. We found beetles. What's next? The next thing we could find is like a, a, a human arm. <laughs> I'm gonna say no on those. That was quite traumatizing. There's literally another one sitting right there in the bag. There's bugs in the bag. There's living bugs in the bag. Ah! Oh, what have we done? What have we done? All right, you, you, your, your stitch work says no. All right, jelly cat little bunny here. Again, they're not super valuable, these bunnies, but they're at least worth more than the $4. We'll take him. Maybe shake him off before, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we have another SeaWorld plushie here, and this one is a, what is this, a walrus? I, I would assume just a seal, because he has no tusks. Yeah, his head's so big, though. He's got the head of a walrus with a, no tusk of a seal. Next up here, we have a generic. Uh, Ooh, there's uh, more beetles coming off of that, man. Easter rabbit bunny. Yeah, another beetle. Beetle man. There's a lot in there. The, should we keep going? I'm gonna have to. Oh man, hit the like button, you guys. I'm Look doing at this, this for you. There's, There's freaking another one. Beetles coming out of this thing. This is. That's got some green cupcake on it. <laughs> yeah, we'll call that cupcake. <laughs> Maybe that's what comes out after those green cupcakes. We have this. No. <laughs> this no. Another generic duck. This hippo looks promising. It's another one of those. He's got beetle feet. Oh! There's beetles in the bag! There's so many in here! Dude, I think we have to just throw this one away. I don't know what else could be in here, but I think it's at the point where we have to make the smart decision for our health. Look at how many there are in this, dude. This guy, I, I'm gonna just say no. I think we should just cut our losses, go with what we got out, and toss this bag immediately. Toss this whole bag. We're gonna clean up the table here. There's there's a couple out here. Ah, this is horrid. This is like a nightmare. What the hell? Hoo wee! All right, let's uh let's check these out. <laughs> that's gotta be that's up there with the Boo Boo Brown Rastafarian as one of the most. I have goosebumps of trauma because it's like if you see a bug like that outside, it's like oh okay, it's outside, it's a bug. But this was in someone's home. And there was lots of them. A lot. Enough to where it could cling on to a singular plushie that much. That's wild. Okay, let's go ahead and do this carefully. Like he's got one in the back of his head. Ah. Oh, okay, let's see if he's worth it first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bag number two. As sketchy as, it... sketchy as it was, 
I cleaned up this hippo here because he actually goes for about $18, $20 on a good day. And the elephant goes for another 15. And I was wrong about this bunny. Some of the bunnies can be on the cheaper side, but I guess this smaller one, it's a little bit older. He goes for 48 bucks recent sold. $48 for a seven inch plush. <laughs> that is crazy. So we are at $115 just because of these. And then these guys, they go from anywhere from like seven to like ten dollars but we just did five dollars each on them so that's where we're at on these ones an amazing little haul there i did clean those as best possible and they will be thoroughly washed because boy was that a traumatic experience i i, I know it's dramatic to some people but that was just really scary i don't know why because it's like i didn't know what they were you know what i mean now that we know they're a beetle that's like pretty common i was thinking like dude what if these are like freaking ticks or something you know yeah that would be a big problem all right so let's see here what we got next. Next is my choice, right? Yes, sir. I'm gonna go ahead and go with this one because I was so confident with this Willy Wonka. <laughs> Maybe these Willy Wonkas. I'm gonna also like scan for any insects now. I'm not seeing nothing. Oh, there's another jelly cat in here. Ooh. Is that the same bunny? It is a different bunny. Okay, okay, that could be good too. So we have Willy Wonka himself there. There's a couple of Willy Wonka. <laughs> there's two Willy Wonka plushies in here. That can't be more like less than five bucks. I'm pretty sure these are arcade prize quality ones. This is Willy Wonka, two Willy Wonkas, and Oompa Loompa. This is if the Oompa Loompa started an empire with slaves that were named Willy. <laughs> 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 and not vice versa. We have this miscellaneous plush here. This is gonna be a no. I think those are safe yeses, right? At least check them out. We can check them out, yeah. I think they'll probably be at the most, maybe 10 bucks, but on the low end, at least $5. That's so already looking good for this bag. This one? No. Yeah, I think you're starting to get good at the eyes. <laughs> just like, yep, this is big old no. When everything's printed on one piece of material, no. Usually. Somebody in the comments, if you see anything we're missing out on, let us know. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is adorable. Ooh. We have an itty bitty of Snoopy there. Cute. And there's also this weird Snoopy that is uh oh, he's pur or purple and green. Purple and green. That's just obscure enough to kind of maybe be something because it's like somebody might be looking for that particular color. And itty bitties are pretty good. Yeah, that's a solid little uh, setup right there. Mr. Krabs. <laughs> Nickelodeon's early 2000s logos would be like. <laughs> <laughs> They made everything into a logo at one point. All right, then we have a Ram here. This is from Unipax. What is that? I feel like we've heard about that brand before, but I'm gonna say probably no. I think it's just small enough to be a no. Yeah. <laughs> Next up here, we've got a uh, super Generic. no. Again, I'll say it every video until people learn this. Sometimes people bears and plushies that are themed around Christmas, Valentine's Day, graduation. They don't keep them. They don't, okay? I'm sorry to break that image for you. It's the thought that counts, but think about something else because I, <laughs> they, they don't keep them. All right, I'm just here. I prove that myself and I'm, I'm, I'm a guy who's bought somebody one of those before. I could probably bet money they don't have it anymore. All right. <laughs> and I could bet money I won't do it again. <laughs> yeah, I won't do it again. After seeing doing this series, they don't keep them. Get something else. It was me. I saw the bear. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have Arthur. I do know these are the ones from Dollar Tree, though. The Dollar yep. Tree plushies. These are really cute, though. So I'm going to put it as a keep, though. And then we also have the Berenstein Ooh. Bear, another Dollar Tree plushie. Really cute for a buck. Not not worth anything, but I'm going to keep them. We have an elf. Who has a very uh, dirty face. Yeah, and a very generic look. So I'm going to say no. <laughs> what on earth? This is drug use is life abuse. Okay. I agree. You got these weird ears. This is Jimmy's. Shout out to you, Jimmy. <laughs> All right, we have another one of these bunnies. Oh, it's very similar. This one is a seven inch too, so it doesn't have the tag on it though. But this one gives me kind of hope that maybe this one might be good. Is that the same? They're almost the same. They're so close to the same color. I mean, I might, this one might end up being up there, but this one just has the tag on it. So we'll find out the jelly cat bunny there. That's another keeper. There is a- No. You know what? On an average day, I would have put my hand in here, made a little joke, but after what I just experienced- Could be stuffed with beetles, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> after what I just experienced, I think I've earned just refusing that. Next up here, we've got a generic Easter bunny. No, a very realistic looking rabbit. And this is by Living Nature. Uh, hopefully it's not living. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully it wasn't at any point. I'm gonna go with a yes on that one just because it's so realistic looking. All right, let's, I think we're at the end of this one here. We have this- it's Like a gel outfit? What is it's that? It's like a, yeah, like a, a jail 
dog. He looks like he belongs in jail. That's it. It says, rejected, too cute, property of Alcatraz. So this is maybe an Alcatraz, like when you go, you can go to the island of Alcatraz and get souvenirs. I wouldn't be surprised if this one's not worth anything. But I also <laughs> wouldn't be surprised if it was. This one's got a little capsule toy in here with something in there. A little egg. I wish I just would never open that. <laughs> that was so dumb. This one is a Precious Moments dog with a purse. I mean, precious enough, apparently. Some hearts in there, a little chicken, and another one of those things. I'm not gonna make that mistake again. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'm gonna go with a no on that. And this bunny, that, you know. No. no. No beetles in there, so that's a win. All right, so on that note, let's check all these ones out and let's get into our next bag. All right, so these guys, surprisingly, we just looked them up for the fun of it and they go for like $5 pre-owned. I don't know, maybe because they've discontinued them at a Dollar Tree at some point. I don't know, maybe I'll see them in the Beyond section soon. <laughs> this guy goes for about $10. This one goes for about eight. These ones go for about eight each on the Willy Wonka as used. And this one went for about seven. So yeah, but combining those together, this guy was sh shockingly pricey. Boysenberry is his color. And Boysenberry keychain was 14 watchers for $40. We just threw 15 on him. And then this one, another jelly cap that has blown our mind. Knew he goes for about freaking 40, but he doesn't have the tag like this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and say we just gave him a 20. They are so similar, but apparently this. So you got lemon. Lemon, and this is cream slash oatmeal. So I guess that makes sense though on why they're about the same price. I kind of prefer cream. I like lemon. Oh right, yeah, lemon. There you go. Lemon. Lemon cream. Lemon cream. Lemon ring. <laughs> All right, that was a nice bag. We are over $200. Good pick, Marcus. Yeah, went for the Willy Wonka, and it looks like he was our golden ticket. Let's see. You like well, that joke there? Uh, yeah, yeah, we, we, we moved nice. past that. <laughs> <laughs> You got your credit. <laughs> Statement, you know? I want to go with this one, I think. Oh, I was hoping you were going to go with that Umbreon one over there. Oh, there's an Umbreon? I'll, I'll go for that for my next turn. Oh, that Umbreon. Yeah, we'll leave you there for a minute. All right. Let's just get this stupid. No! We're going to get it out of the way, bro. Let's get, <laughs> make sure there's no beetles. Okay, let's get it out of the way. There's no beetles, but there is a lot of knockoff Nemo. It's a lot of aquarium fish. There's a lot of, yeah, aquarium fish, so there, aka knockoff Nemo. Oh, the air hit me. <laughs> I heard it go bah. Ooh. I mean realistically we're in it for the pizza truck and that's it. Oh man. Oh the Nemo's there so is. many unlicensed clownfish. <laughs> Who sat there and went to the arcade and was like, give me your Nemo? No, you know where these got donated from? These were fair prizes and nobody wanted them. Like they won like, thanks, the challenge was enough and just walked <laughs> off. They didn't even want these. Oh my gosh, a superhero. A super zero. What is he? Some kind of weird. Is he like a talking one? No. Look, I mean, look how sick that is. He's got a little mask. He's, got... He's some kind of poop flying spider monkey or something. He's Zorro. That's probably the worst thing I've seen today. <laughs> <laughs> this right here. What is that? That is by Mary Meyer. Okay. What do you think? Maybe or no? You want to maybe it just to see or? I think it's because of the way he's looking at you. Yeah, that was maybe you. All right, maybe. All right, this, this we know this isn't worth more Oh, that's like, like a two buckers. Yeah, this, <laughs> even if it is licensed, that's probably like five cents. <laughs> Next up here, we have this ocelot. Zoom Zoom wannabe thing. Bags in mighty fool. Yeah, you got a couple more. What is this? It's disgusting. Ugh. That's an avocado toast. It's a squishable too. Squishables are actually pricey, but that kind of is disgusting. It's just an avocado toast. I know, but I don't like these flaps. I'm not a big fan of flaps. It's just, it's avocado slices. Flaps kind of freak me out a little bit. I'm not going to lie to you. No. <laughs> no. Pink. Nemo. Nemo. <laughs> what is that hamster? Oh, that's actually really Ooh. cool. It's a Christmas present that turns into thumper, so you can put him inside here. <laughs> that's actually kind of sick. Nice, nice little like drop in there. Yeah, you can close them up, and then when you pull them out, it's like it kind of looks like flounder, flounder yeah, <laughs> like wrapping paper. But then you open him up, oh, kind of like a, our Timmy that we had a while ago. Close that up. Yeah, let's not talk about Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> and boom, it's a. Thumper that <laughs> you just gotta fix his bow <laughs> with a really messed up bow. It goes on his neck. It's like a little handle. Or does it go around his neck? Maybe that's true. Oh yeah, that's adorable. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Okay, well, yeah, 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 but historically, you. Bambi plushies aren't really that valuable. We'll find out though. It just makes everybody sad. Nobody likes Bambi really. They just 
remember it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe people like Bambi. I don't know. If you like Bambi, let me know. I don't. I like the characters. They're adorable. But the movie, you watch it once and you're like, wow, that was a great movie. But I will never go through that again. Yeah. This guy was interesting. I was. I've seen him for a while in there. I thought he was a sensei when I first saw this. Like the ribs. yeah, the texture. But, but he's not. uh by Carnival uh, brand. So no. Oh, I see another. What does this Grogu look like? He's 69 years old. What about just Yoda? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, ducky. ducky, nice. That's actually kind of cool. We got the ducky that went with that bunny that we had a while ago. The big blue one, yeah. Yeah, and then there is Another a... one of those realistic cat things. It's not as realistic as some may be, though. So I don't think it's really... This is Ikea, too. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Nan. And these smiley faces... 40 bucks each. I'm happy they're happy, I'm but, sure. <laughs> but they're going into the no pile. And honestly, Ducky, we'll check him out, but I'm pretty sure he's a no, too. All right, so the avocado toast... He goes for about six bucks. Grogu goes for about seven bucks. This thing goes for about ten bucks. And he's a dog, dog toy. toy. <laughs> and then we have the dog. The dog himself. Whoever 20, surprisingly. Again, some of these random plushies like this, you know, if they're good quality, people will pay up for them. So we ended up being at $242. Even on the, the losest of loser bags, we've been able to make it a win. Yeah. And the dog was really clutch. The dog was clutch, and so was oh yeah. And these guys, these guys were we put no value on. He goes for about seven. I could not find this guy for the life of me. So I'm gonna go with no value on both these in case we went high on anything else. Alright. Now I'm gonna grab that Umbreon bag. I, I, I'm almost 100% sure that is a fake Umbreon, but you know, why not? <laughs> when could dream it's real <laughs> all right let's take a look here so first off here we have dog man but this is actually a higher quality plush than the last one we had and we already sold the last dog man i think for like 12 bucks so that one's not bad at all we have a snake here from something pacific pacific, Cafe pacific. just probably a generic like hand away plush no i gotta get a new bag this guy is really cute. Whoa. Why does he look familiar? Is he from Japan? Oh, it's Disney. Where does it say? Oh, yeah, Disney Animal Kingdom. So this is a Disney Animal Kingdom plushie. Hey, why not? If it's discontinued, he could be pretty up there. That's really cute, too. Shout out to Disney. See, we could spot that a mile away. <laughs> Disney. Hey, and then there's the cat. The same quality, oh, too. Oh, there you go. The cat sold for even more. I think we sold the cat for 14 So these two together, that's like guaranteed 20 bucks at least, hopefully. Heck yeah. And then this guy right here. Big old no. This guy right here. See? It's by gun. It's gun oh, baby. I'll put it as a maybe. This one is super no. Oh, you just wanted it for this hot dog, didn't you? I just wanted it for this snake with beautiful freaking eyes. Oh, like cobra or something. Oh. This is like. Oh wait a minute. This might. No, this ain't real. See, I knew this was some fake freaking knockoff Umbreon. Made in China. Made in sadness. Yeah, cow plush. You know this ain't worth nothing. I'm petitioning for them to make amusement park plushies better. Toy works hot dog. Toy works hot dog. It doesn't even look like a good hot dog. And my hot dog <laughs> has got that a, much of a curve on it. Does it have a bun in the center of it, too? <laughs> <laughs> it's mustard in the middle, man. No, I'm talking about this orange piece right here. Is that, is that a bun? They slice their hot dog in half. Oh, I think they just didn't cut it in the right spot. <laughs> I think that is part of the bun. This... That looked familiar. Hedgehog. It's Ty, though. He's got a... He's a weird movie plush. I'm gonna say just check him out. Oh, my gosh. What is that? It's like if a bear was trying to cosplay as Momo for a convention. <laughs> this is... Terrible. Who's it by? Boyd Bears. Boy, no. <laughs> I could, yeah, this is another item. I could have went my whole day without experiencing that. This. Ahead of a truck, Teratops. Fun Express. No. It ain't fun. Another chicken. Kathy Pacific. Another one. Oh, Juan. Got a little JoJo Siwa guitar here. Oh, the guitar. It's uh, actually Build a Bear. Sometimes the accessories for Build a Bears can be up there. So let's take a look here. Uh, Cody, no. The Wish Pet. Sorry, Cody. I think the rest of this bag is probably a lot of nope. Yeah. I don't even know what brand this is. It didn't even show me. Yeah, I think the rest of this bag is a huge nope. Safe nope. Yeah, okay. So we're going to throw this one out. That was actually, the bag that you grabbed last, I was expecting to be worse than this one. And this one's actually kind of worse. Like, there's some good stuff in here. Definitely worth the freaking price. But unless this freaking guy blows our mind, it was a pretty rough, I mean, compared to that first bag, I guess everything looks beautiful. All right, all things considered, this was a pretty rough bag. This one's like seven bucks. There's somebody on there asking for but you might as well ask a million because it ain't gonna happen. It's eight bucks, unfortunately. <laughs> I was hoping it was at 40, but no. This guy is like seven dollars. I was 
Cardinals really had a lot of hope in you, Rainbow Star, Terry Tops. Star tops. But no, no, he's not. And then these guys together have dropped quite a bit in price. They're going for 15 for both of them together, which is, is these alone were making it worth it. So we got a win on that, but it wasn't our biggest win on that bag. If that Umbreon would have been real, you know, maybe it would have been a big win. I'm just saying. Yeah, your turn next here. Oh, man. You got that bluey bag you wanted to grab. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. That one's got a Aurora Pig, whatever. Uh, yeah, let's go for the bluey. Why not? No. <laughs> what the <laughs> heck? What in the... Oh, okay, this is... What, Belle? It's Belle. She's really dirty, though, man. Dirty. And then there's just a cloud of dust that just flew. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. This is... I don't think this is Bluey. I think this is his father. Well, it's not Dingo. No, no. His dad's name is... What is his dad's name? <laughs> dad. <laughs> I can't remember, but I, I think it's his dad, I'm pretty sure. What is this? <laughs> what the frick even <laughs> are you? That's it's the so laziest. disproportionate in every way. What is it supposed to be? A, uh, that's that's a team player. That's what that is. Is that a human being? No. Or some kind of animal? Why is there things falling off of him? Get him out of here. I'm just so curious on what he is. This thing is a living thing. I want to know what it is. That's weird. Oh, I thought that was Santa for a it second. It looks like almost like it was like... It looks definitely like based off of the gnomes from uh, Gravity Falls. True. But no, it's not. Ooh. What random hidden Morty... Oh, Ooh. he's so filthy. I'm putting that in the nose immediately. What is that? No. No. Ugh. Don't touch your face. Touch my shirt and then touch my face. All right. Um, man, this bag is really rough. This oh, bunny. <sighs> realistic looking, but there's no brand on it, so it's hard to even tell. I'm going to say no. This bag has just been quite a bad experience overall. If I said it, I'll get it out the way. Does it have two horn, like holes in it? Look, we're not gonna question this. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we can just kind of yeet this whole bag, honestly. Mm -hmm. There's a spin in here, but it's so damaged, the glitter, his, look at it, his antlers were ripped off. Oh, it's all heavily ripped off. Like, I think we can just kind of eyeball this through here to save me the Who's drama. this little green guy? <laughs> I can grab him and see if you want to see him. This bag might have just been a big, no, that's, an ant, that's one of those, that's the worst thing. The worst thing. There's so many bad oh, things in here. Oh, cherry Kool-Aid. Nobody even likes that flavor, really. You like red? I like strawberry. I like watermelon, but not cherry. This is... <laughs> I think it's safe to say this whole bag is a no, just to save ourselves the, the drama. This is Funko. I don't care if that's Funko. <laughs> I don't give a Funko. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that little bag's a no. Let's check out what we got here. I, I, that may have been slim pickings. <laughs> that may have been the worst bag next to the first one. So we're just gonna add Bandit in here, who goes for 15. His name is Bandit. That's his name. The, these guys are about five bucks each. Just because they're Funko, probably. <laughs> but I'm gonna give them no value in case you went high on anything else. But sometimes you, what you see is what you get. You know, we saw him from the outside. That's why it's good. It's important to at least look at the outside. That's why we show it with you guys. Because you never know what's on the outside of the bag. Can at least give you that, like, inclination that the rest of the bag is good. This one's incli incl inclination didn't lead to a lot, though. At least Bandit paid for the bag, right? Yeah, Bandit paid for the bag. He helped us Bandit a little value. Oh. All right. Getting down the slim pickings. Very slim pickings. Yeah, four bags. Let me get that, uh... Look at that, uh, broken arm guy. Look at that broken arm guy down there. Let me get that guy. Oh, it looks like there's something good in here. Look at that. I mean, there's probably something better, but he's he's done. <laughs> All right, let's take a look here and see what we got. Okay, so we got an easy eight bucks there. Okay, well, no, that's eight bucks. A little Willy Wonka there. This guy. Oh, but he's he's blue this time. Is that an orange? <laughs> Super no. This Huffalump. No. no. Oh, this is another kid. This is Augustus Gloop. What Augustus the Gloop? heck? The freaking kid Augustus who goes Gloop? into the, yeah the kid that goes in the chocolate fountain and dies. Yeah. Well, I don't think he dies, but we don't. Assume, I don't remember what happened to him. Loop straight to the fudge room, but look sharp, or her little boy's liable to get poured into the boiler. He could have died. We don't know. <laughs> this guy, no. We are, and then something in Chinese. No, we are not worth it. <laughs> no. Man, why did he have to have a ripped arm? Dude, that would have been easy, like 18 bucks probably. Should we look him up to see if that's how it is? <laughs> no, no, I've seen him before. He has an arm. That is a really creepy owl right there. Kind of realistic. I don't even see this the owl here. you're talking about. He is really realistic, and it's by, oh, it's by Frankfurt, though. Ah, uh, he's missing a, a wing. Oh, no, he's, there it is. Yeah, I'm gonna say probably no. Frankfurt plushies aren't usually that good. Is this a... It's one of those nasty, hairy bear drafts. March of Dimes. His hair feels like hay. He's probably worth a dime. What is that? That's supposed to be, I think, Pancham from Pokemon, which is <laughs> that not. That is the biggest ellipse. 
I didn't I didn't visualize that as lips. I visualized it as an open mouth. It is mouth. open mouth, yeah, but it looks like <laughs> but, lips. <laughs> that's kind of words. That's the jinx lips on there. This one, FAO shorts. In our experiences, FAO shorts weren't that good, but we'll maybe him. No, he's got he's things got coming strings off. hanging off, yeah. Yeah, get out of here. Man! Do we just grab the good bags or what? Oh, that's the duck from what's that show called? The duck from what's that show called? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. There's no duck. This this is not from anything. That is from a show, yes. There is no show this is from. This it is, I promise you. I bet you good money. I bet you extra money on top of that that it is from a show. <laughs> we'll find out. Squishmallow, you never know. I kind of just like this. This is kind of cute. What up, ghost? Yeah, I'm gonna keep that. I don't think it's worth anything. No. Ooh. What was that? It's a Mickey Mouse. Yeah, it is uh, Mickey. Okay. Disney bear here. Halloween 2020. Probably not worth anything crazy, but it's very adorable. Oh, Disney, you don't hurt. Ooh, another Sea World plushie here. Shamu. We already know Shamu is usually a no, but we'll put him there. Um, him the Manhattan others. Toy Company usually a no too. Yeah, a Sea World lot one. going at least. Yeah, we have a lot of Sea World stuff. This. Lion Whoa. here by Kelly Toys. I'm gonna say no. <laughs> you waiting to squish Mello. Yeah. The rest of this I think is safe to say no. Is he from a show too? That I don't think so. <laughs> Let's see what show this wind got in my eyes. Let's see what show this duck is from. I think you're thinking of something that it's not. So you're betting a million dollars on this. Because hey, you have a million dollars lying around, right? I do. It's right there in that arcade cabinet. <laughs> it's Monopoly money, but you know, he is not from a show. Yes, he is. I have seen him waddling around. All right, so Augustus here, he goes for about $7. Willie, we knew he was going to be our savior there. Eight bucks. Nothing. Priceless. This guy goes for about 10 If it was working, it would go for a lot more, but apparently he used to have a light in there. That would be really cool, but they designed it in such a way, you really could not replace the battery unless you were willing to do some stitch work. This one, nada. And this is from a show, because Mitchell watches no Noggin or Cartoon Network at like 6 a.m. Never seen the show in my life, but apparently it is a show. Pokio. Pokio, and it goes for $30 new. So use, we're giving them 10. You hear that? It is from a show. Where's my million? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say bet. I did twice. No, like you, get, you get no money, no millions. Just like the lottery. <laughs> is it my turn now? It's your turn now. I gotta drink my big water. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh lordy. What do we got here? That one. Oh, that was got more. Uh, I'm just curious enough to find out how much Mort goes for. All right, so Mort's time has come. Let's find out more. I gotta drink this whole thing by the end of the day, and I'm here. He's about it's nine o'clock, sixty percent way. <laughs> nine o'clock, and it's not nine o'clock yet. <laughs> All right, bags are getting another bag is getting pretty full. And so is the table. <laughs> Mort, let's see if Mort is our savior here. The heck just fell off of him. The dead spider. Oh, that's okay. It's Hopefully just, he's dead. Just a spider. Yeah, he's dead. I can deal with spider. Beetles? Beetles. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, let's see here. So we have one. No, two. Two white tigers. Like, Look at them nostrils. Siberian tigers. Siberian tigers. What they help from? from Siberia. The tie. And that one's. And that one is. Oh, it's actually a different. I thought it was the same plush. Well, we'll put them as a maybe, but I think probably a no. Mort is a guarantee. Our only hope. Mort's our only real hope. You know you're damned when Mort is your only hope. King Julian. Which technically that's Nickelodeon. It wasn't though when this came out, right? I don't know if it's themed around Madagascar, if which it is if it's technically the, no, yeah. But if it's the penguins, it is. Yeah. All right, this Winnie the Pooh. That isn't Winnie the Pooh. What's coming out of his nose and what's coming out of his butt? Ooh. No. Blue Browns. The weird tiger guy. No. I think it's another one where we don't even really have to look too far into this. There's a lot of Siberia tigers in here. Wild Republic, no. Oh. Ugh. It's making my stomach sick, this one. What is this? A gopher? What is this? You're not worried about that. <laughs> what the hell is this? A bobblehead of a Siberian tiger? Who had a Siberian tiger collection and was like, I don't need it? What the world? Where did you find that? I think this is safe to say. No, on everything in here. Just take a couple more out, just to make some room. Aurora elephant. All right, I'll take a beaver out. This is bad, man. I, I think it's safe to say no on all of this without going too far into it. I, and I also just don't want to. All right, you don't want to. No. Nope. <laughs> all right, I'm throwing this whole thing in the trash. Well, that should at least be the last bad bag, maybe. I don't think any of these, these tigers are gonna be worth anything. I don't think so either. I think our only hope is that Mort. All right, so everything was worthless. Except for him, he was what, six bucks? He was like, oh, like 10 on a good day. Okay, on a good day. It doesn't look like a good day for him. <laughs> and then Mort on 
average morts can go for like 30 to 40 bucks but we could not find this like exact super mort. Rare, yeah yeah we're gonna give him just i don't know 15 bucks and just say that you got our bags worth at least all right next bag let's do it i'm gonna do that more often man like if i don't see anything in the bag just to save us the drama of having to like freaking go through all of it oh this is the one with roger rabbit in it yeah let's take a look here and boo boo brown camp snoopy we have camp snoopy browns right here with the boo boo browns on his boo boo butt but he's a little backpack but it looks like the backpack is pretty shredded up and now it's really shredded up it's like he got set on fire can the backpack be removed at least yes yes it can so now he's just snoopy with a hoodie probably no this roger rabbit please don't have a missing arm or something oh dude that is that's pretty ugly but <laughs> <laughs> that's still sick we have a roger rabbit here it looks like his ears have like something in them but i don't know what you would call that something He's definitely pretty wonky, but man, you don't see Roger Rabbit stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and say we're gonna keep him as a maybe. Ice Spice. <laughs> <laughs> no, a fish. That's very creepily real. It must be a cat toy. Yeah, either that or something else, because it flips around. Yeah, yeah a cat toy. Huh. Alf, nope. In like that Roger Rabbit was a saving grace. I'm gonna go through them just so we can say we did. But realistically, General Brown Bear, no. Oh, jelly cat. That is not a. That's not a jelly cat. Almost. <laughs> this one, no. no. This guy, we've had him before. No. And he didn't have that hair before. And it's still a no. <laughs> it can look better without it. <laughs> yeah. No. Man, this is a bus bag too. That's all no. You know it. It's a wind-up toy. It's like a wind-up toy, but he doesn't work. It just instantly retracts. I'll put him in a maybe. But, yeah, I'm going to say the most of this. The Reese's. Legoland bear? Where's a Legoland bear? Right there in the pink. This isn't Legoland. This is a Barbie. That's No, you're not looking at the right one. Yeah, there you go. It's just a regular bear with a Legoland shirt. I'll take the Legoland shirt. <laughs> <laughs> You want to check him out? I just want to take the shirt off of him. <laughs> what? Joe. Oh, Joe is his is his is his roommate. And then we also have this Barbie dog. But I know these Barbie dogs aren't worth nothing. Um, hey, neither is this Reese's cat. Dude. I'm I'm hoping on him because I've we've sold so far two random tigers. They kind of look if they look anything somewhat like the tiger from um, Calvin and Hobbes. For some reason, they sell. This one kind of has that same look to him. So I'm going to go ahead and just check them out at least. All right. What's your hopes on? My hopes are on this guy. Oh, Roger, right. And the Roger. <laughs> yeah. And That's it. I have so much faith in, in Hoppy. Oh, Hoppy. How could you forsake me? He ain't worth nothing. Nothing? He's so cool. Like, I would have loved to get Hoppy as a kid. It's from the kids club, too, with a K. Poor Hoppy. But no, he's nothing. But this guy, like I said, just because any tiger that kind of remotely looks like the one from Calvin and Hobbes, they end up being some, for some reason pricey. And this guy, he's like, yeah, I kind of look like that guy. <laughs> 15 bucks. And this one, they went for $26.99, but that was in a, bitter, a little bit better shape. So I'm going to say probably 15 on this one at the most. So overall, we did get our value, but another rough bag towards the end here. We have one bag left, so it's your choice. Oh. You want to go with that one? Bag, or you uh, want to go with just nothing? I go with these two jelly cats again. No, I guess I got to go with that bag. And I'm pretty sure this bag is gonna be quite terrible because obviously we were avoiding it for some reason. I wasn't avoiding it. I was. Uh. <laughs> this glitter shark. That thing looks sick. No, you think it looks sick? No, I hate that. Well, you can have it. No, it, I hate those textures so much. <laughs> we have a what frog that is actually kind of cute, but it's just cuddle me. Brand nothing for right now. This, oof, I'm flinging that at me. We got this dog with a Chris with a, you know. Gotta have one of those guys right there. You gotta have two of these in every single one. We're gonna switch them to be happy, though, at least, so you can have a happy life. No one. There we go. No cuddle. This me. guy, generic bear, no. Another one of those cuddle toys. No. No. Another one of those dogs. Disgusting, no. <laughs> what on earth has happened to you? Is that I, man gone through the dryer? It's mini so, but I don't even, like, you can't save that. No. That, that thing has not went through the dryer. That, that thing has went through the incinerator. That thing has been hit by a flame door. <laughs> okay, this is uh, Rapunzel here. We'll check her out, but she, you know, she just stayed in that damn tower. We have Pua. Who smells like Pua. Pua. He's got stuff sticking to him. I'm going to say no. We have this Gans Webkins, and it has the code. Ooh. 
It has the code. The webcams without the code kind of usually worthless. With the code, that's a game changer. So we'll take that guy, who knows? We have this penguin fish look, probably no. Monkey man. Very no. cute, but still no. Animatronic dog here. Animatronics can be up there. He doesn't work, so I'll probably need new batteries. By Jemmy Company. I think that's worth checking out. Everybody has seen this Beanie Baby at some point in their life. Whether it's this specific color one, or like the blue one, or the red <laughs> one. Like, why is this like it's the, the most- sports team's bear. It's like the most 90s bear ever. It's the most generic bear. What let's go, let's just, let's just look this one up. We'll look it up, it's a Thai one. And we'll find somebody who's listed it for $500 and we'll say that's it. We won. <laughs> I mean, because if we get enough of these Beanie Babies and I have some uh, Black Diamond uh, Disney VHS in the house, we're basically rich. We have a dog here. No. This guy's back. No. In more noble condition. No. This is no, man. All nose, 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 lows, pros. This dog's name is Butch. You've been butchered in that bag. <laughs> he kind of looks like Sid's dog a little bit, but no. All right. So let's just, I mean, I kind of had a feeling when we started getting the last couple of bags, it was getting rough. Because those are the bags that we kind of got at the last store. There weren't a lot of options. So let's go ahead and go with what we got here. My hope. I'm hoping that webkins, really. I'm hoping on the webkins and I'm hoping on this animatronic dog. Because I've been surprised every time by some of these animatronics. They can be like 30, 40 bucks. I'll, I'll take 10. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. We gonna eat good tonight. Oh, I can't wait to see this three dollars and six cents. Three thousand five hundred dollars. What? For this Thai beanie baby. Three thousand five hundred. But you know what? It, it, there's other ones. So once this one here sells for ten, then it's all money. It's all money <laughs> after that one sells. We are gonna be good, dude. What the frick? Five hundred. At least get five hundred. <laughs> People are crazy with tag 99 cents that's more accurate <laughs> <laughs> why do they keep trying with these just unbelievable <laughs> listings i don't know maybe to keep the meme alive uh peace bear is worth 99 cents with the tag it does not have the tag all we got from that whole set was one webkins that was worth nine dollars only i call that a win <laughs> <laughs> All we needed was one more plush in there. Had it been five bucks, it would have been all right. If we would have got, yeah, one more plush that was above five dollars, we would have been at four hundred. But hey, not every single haul can be that kind of a lucky win. We did still pretty good though. Four hundred dollars out of forty. Yes, it will take a lot of work and a lot of cleaning and processing. But if you want to go through that, four hundred bucks is not a bad profit. I'm gonna count this as an absolute win. <laughs> you guys, let me know what was your favorite find today, and I'm sure we're gonna break past. 400 because so many of you guys are gonna leave comments letting me know some of the ones we left out that may be valuable because I'm sure we missed some. There's gotta be at least five or six that we missed in here. So you guys can let us know what you see and we can grab it out of here to make sure we get it. And hopefully we can break that 400. Stay tuned in here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Man, we went through Boo Boo Browns. We went through Beatles. I got freaking all types of hair, black, blonde, brown, white, all types of hair in my face. Hit the like button for that and from for me going through this most of what is garbage, <laughs> I would appreciate it. Uh, subscribe if you're new here. If you want to support the series and the show further, you can go check out our Patreon where you can sign up for only $2 a month. And when you sign up, you'll get an extended version of this video as well as every other video that I upload and have uploaded for nine months with extended behind the scenes and extra content that you've never seen before and can't be on YouTube. Plus you'll get early releases and some other perks too. Just go check it out. And if you guys haven't already, go visit our whatnot streams. We're live every single Friday. And we also have Wednesday auctions where everything is, starts off at $1. I would greatly appreciate it. And when you sign up, you already know you get 15 bucks for free. So come join in, hang out with us and have some fun. That link will be in the description down below as well. But stay tuned here. You guys know the drill. Scan it. Alright, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smack the like button. Again, if you want to check out our Patreon and whatnot, all that information is down below. I'll see you guys in this video right here that I know you're going to love. And as always, Rat Pack, I'll see you beautiful people in the next one. Adios and bloop!